So I have some absolutely amazing news. I have been wanting one of these snakes for such a long time and I finally got one. This is a precious little baby Colombian red tail boa, a boa constrictor imperator, and I'm very happy to have this precious little snake. Thankfully, she actually fits in this 10 gallon aquarium for the time being. Um, I do have a heat pad I'm going to put on the bottom. And unfortunately, the stuff I ordered with her, like the heat mat and the bowl hide and different stuff, that's not coming till Saturday. Um, I wish they would have just shipped them together, but you know, it is what it is. So I have a hide that I'm making. Uh, I'm going to put that in there for her in just a second. And I just had to share with you how precious this little snake is. Look at that little snake. Oh my goodness, she's so freaking cute. And it is a female. I ordered a female because females get bigger. Um, I would like to have a male and a female and breed them at some point. I live in a pretty small house right now though, so I think I might have to limit myself to one red-tailed boa. She could get up to like 10 foot long. I'm hoping she gets very big. I know she will at least get like 8 or 9 foot or something. So that's perfect in my opinion. I think red tail boas are an amazing pet snake. And they get a perfect size because at least for me, some people would say like, no, that's huge. But I think they get the perfect size because they're big, like enough to legitimately be a big snake. But at the same time, they're easy to deal with because they don't get too big and you don't have to worry about the snake hurting you, you know. Um, obviously wouldn't, you know, leave it unatt unattended with a child or small dog, you know. That's why we have enclosures and when they get big, you know, you probably want it to have like a lock on it. But yeah, for the time being, she's chilling in this. And... uh the lid, I know she can totally just push that up and get out. I have some weights that I'm going to put on the top. And I am just absolutely in love with this snake. Since I just got her, you know, it's recommended to wait a couple days before you handle them or feed them. Um, so I'm definitely waiting to feed her for a couple days it works out perfect because I guess she's been being fed on Fridays so two days from now is Friday and gosh I will have to figure out what I want to name this precious little snake um, also side note I have a lot of spiders and I'm really bad with names so yeah I need to figure that out too but oh my god I want to get her out um, I only handled her a little bit after I unboxed her. I just held her for like five minutes, admiring how amazing she is. I kind of want to get her out right now just to show y'all how cute she is, but I might just let her chill. I might just let her chill for now. Oh, you're so cute. Absolutely love you.